Hello, my name is Gunter Weser from GWJ Technology Germany. Today I will give you a short overview of our cylindrical gear pair calculation in the TPK software. Here in the navigation you can select or you can open the different calculation modules for shaft and bearings and gear calculation and also for connections and some other calculation modules. And now I start the cylindrical gear pair calculation. Every time the program starts with a template for the calculation, here you have the menu bar with open and save, calculate, redo, undo function, CRD export, report, and the option menu to specify the system um, of units and the minimum safeties and some other values. If you start with the calculation, you can input here your own number of teeth for the pinion, and if you make an input, the program calculates automatically new after the finishing of the input, like in this way. Um, here you can input also the normal module uh, as a standard normal module or um, like a non-standard module like 3.1234. This is also possible. Or you can click on the unit and you can use the optional or the alternative input for a diametral pitch or circular pitch. And uh, you can input also the pressure angle, differ from 20 degree, or you can work with the helix angle, like 12 degree. You can input this with degree, minute, seconds. This is also possible. And you can specify the direction of the helix angle, of course. The program calculates automatically the standard, work, the standard center distance. And here you can input your working center distance, smaller or larger, or you want to have the working center dis distance equal to the standard center distance. You can say zero. And now you have this value here. And here, for example, to show you what is possible with the redo undo function, you can input here minus 0.5 for the profile shift coefficient, uh, 0 and 0.5. And now you can go to the two form and the detail view. And now you can see this is the two form with plus 0.5 for the profile shift for gear one. This is with zero. And at undo again with this is minus 0.5. Yeah. So you can play with this values, for example. Um, and uh, if you input a working center distance different from the standard center distance, the programs split the profile shift coefficients for gear one and gear two, half and half, or you can specify this in a different way. You have a layout for the splitting for the balance specific sliding, minimum sliding speed or geometric maximum minimum or from maximum root of length safety or scuffing if the load capacity is active. Another possibility is uh, you can switch the sum of x3 um, and OK. And now the working center distance is no longer an input value and it's calculated by the profile shift coefficients. And so you can input your profile shift coefficients, for example, and the program calculates the working center distance. Yeah, this is one op option. And now I close this again and I say balance specific sliding. If, if this is active and I change something here, the program calculates automatically new uh, the splitting for the profile shift coefficients. And you have some proposals for tip allowances. Uh, these are also automatically considered uh, to check for meshing interference on the basis of an accurate two form geometry calculation with a consideration also of a um, tooth thickness allowance or uh, center distance allowances. And you see also the tip clearance and the root diameter, or you can switch on with values here and you can influence by your own. This is also possible. Uh, the same also for the tip diameter. Uh, you can work also with this. Yeah. Um, you can work also with an inner diameter or outer diameter if you have a internal gearing. For example, you can work with a minus uh, number of T for gear two, and you see now you have an internal gearing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you can consider also um, webs for the gear body, or you can work with an addendum chamfer like this. And if the addendum chamfer is too large, you will see this also in the gearing. Now it's uh, nearly too large. And if I do this in this way, 
you have here also the message and you see this also of course here in the to form yeah okay and instead of an addendum chamfer you can work also here with a tip radius which is also possible and if you have a meshing interference you can reduce this or you can uh, avoid this um, if you change the profile shift coefficients for example like this or I say undo and I say here this calculation button and now the program reduces the tip diameter uh, for gear 2 to solve this problem for example yeah okay um, and um, here you have the tool here you can select different kind of tools like a hop or gear shaper cutter or constructed involute um, for the gear shaper cutter you can specify also uh, the tip form for example the number of teeth and the profile shift and the program checks automatically also if you have some problems during the manufacturing to manufacture an internal gearing uh, for example with this specified gear shaper cutter or not yeah um, and if you work with uh, allowance or stock allowance on the flank uh, the program calculates automatically also the test dimensions for the pre cutted gear and for the finished gear and shows you this values in the calculation report. For the allowances you can select also uh, the grade of accuracy according to different standards like DIN or ISO or HTME and here you can select also the backlash allowances and the tolerance sequence to specify the upper and lower values for the two thickness allowances or with this calculation button you can um, work also you can calculate back also um, from measured values to the two thickness allowances yeah. one thing I forgot also for the tools for the tools of course you can select here different uh, basic like profiles you can work also with protuberance values this is also or protuberance tools this is also possible or also with semi topping tools or you can use you can specify your own tool this is also supported. Uh, for the allowances you have here also uh, recommended values for uh, the test dimensions, uh, for the number of teeth for spend measurement or for ball or roller diameters and you can open this and you can specify your own values and if these values are near the recommended values you have no problem. If it's too small you will have a, a message here or is it too large of course too. Yeah. And here you can specify also the tolerance field for the center distance or you can specify user defined input and the program calculates automatically also the backlash and in the two form in the detail view you can select do you want to see the display for the mean or min or max values for the two thickness or tip allowances and with this settings you can generate uh, for this uh, tolerance values directly a cat model like uh, a 2D DXF2 form for laser cutting or ADM wiring or you can generate a 3D model with our CAD plugins uh, or you can generate the manufacturing table for the drawing also via the CAD plugins. Um, for the load capacity we support also different standards like the DIN or ISO standard every time with the best analytical uh, method, method B or you can work with a HGME standard or with a VDI guideline for plastic gears it's also possible or also supported. And if you switch on one calculation method you can select the material from the database or you can click on uh, the material button to see uh, the values of the material or you can um, use the user defined input to specify your own material it's also possible. Yeah. Or you, we can integrate also customized materials this is also uh, supported. Here you can work also with a load spectrum you can specify this here directly or you can open and save this this is also uh, supported. Here you can input the application factor of endurance or lifetime a fixed KH better factor um, for the first layout or if you know your layout a little bit better like you know the bearing distance and the shaft diameter you can use the approximated solution to calculate this from the DINO ISO standard 
uh, to calculate the KH better factor or if you want to optimize uh, or if you want to make a optimized layout for flank modifications like um, yeah, um, lengthwise crowning or end relief or something like this, you can do this in our system percolation with a consideration of uh, the torsion and bending uh, of the shafts and with a considering of the um, uh, bearing stiffness or housing stiffness or you can consider also the deformation of a gear body or a planet carrier. This is also supported in the system calculation because in the system calculation you have the complete environment to do this very exactly on the basis of uh, finite element uh, calculation inside the system calculation. Um, and here you can specify the kind of lubrication of course and here you can select um, different uh, lubricants from a database. We have more than 200 lubricants in the database or you can use the user-defined input too for this. And here we have some more extended input options um, like uh, in general uh, you can consider also carry with uh, if you have different uh, face width for gear 1 and gear 2 or you can uh, select here pitting permitted this is also possible and for uh, the two foot in flank you can consider the roughness of course the number of contacts per revolution uh, if you have a large gear that is uh, in contact with uh, one two or three pinions for example and you can input here uh, the technology factor or you can use uh, the mode of operation like swelling alternating oscillating and for uh, case hardening steels we calculate the optimum case hardening depth and you can it can it open and you can input your own value uh, or you can work with a reduced uh, case hardening depth and the programs consider this also in the calculation here for the flanks and if I close this you see now again this value and also for the long life factors according to the ISO standard you can switch this off and can specify this by your own or like with uh, you can work like the Dean standard with one for example it's also possible yeah okay and for scuffing you can work also with some different options like gears are well run in for example or not yeah and here i have also the possibility to work with modifications with the layout of uh, a tip relief here for the amount and for the length and you can switch also to start of a uh, diameter of modification or you can work with the length again yeah this is also possible and uh, we have also a dimensioning function. So if you start, for example, with a power of uh, 200 kilowatt uh, or a thread, we can go to the dimensioning and we can select here uh, the tooth type and the criterion for the rough calculation for the dimensioning. And we want to have, for example, a um, transmission ratio like four. So I input 3.5 and 4.1, for example. And uh, specify the uh, range, range for the number of teeth for the pinion and if you need also for the working center distance and here I work with the standard values and I want to use also a standard module and for profile shift uh, I specify later so give me a first uh, some first recommended values and so I make the dimensioning and now I have nearly 400 variants for example I can order this for the module, for example, the smallest is six, the largest is 16 for, for this, or I can order this for the center distance or the transition ratio or the transverse contact ratio, which is also possible here. Yeah. And so I want to work with the smallest um, center distance like this and say, okay, and now I have a uh, first idea with this I can work for example and now I can specify also the profile shift for this I go to the calculation button I close the sum of x I say then in specific sliding and I change the working center distance for example a little bit and yeah I, I can modify this a little bit or I can work this uh, further 
and um, if I have finished my work here, I can save, of course, uh, my calculation um, file. Um, this is the calculation file format is uh, uh, XML file that is open, that is readable. So you can open this calculation file also with a text editor and you have every time uh, access to your uh, calculation files. And you can generate, of course, also a calculation report with job data. And here you can select different templates for uh, the calculation report. And if you generate this, you have this at first in HTML. Um, and here you can select and you can jump directly to some chapters uh, here in the calculation report, like test dimensions or some other things. And uh, here you can call also the PDF. And so you can work also with a PDF and can save this and so on. Yeah. And in the option menu, uh, you can specify the system of units or the min safety values or some other values, of course. Okay, this was a very short uh, overview of what is possible in the cylinder gear pair calculation. If you have questions or if you need more information, please contact us. Yeah, and uh, thank you for today for your time.